What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. My name's Chase. This is That Sounds Terrible. And today we're going to talk about the Perilous Overdrive from Parks Custom Pedals. Now, this artwork was actually done from the guy who sent this to me, and his name is Truck Driver Sean. So he did the artwork on this very small batch of this pedal uh, from Parks Custom Pedals or PCP Pedals. For those of you who don't know, PCP actually does the Dagon OD, which is an incredible, incredible Klon style pedal. Um, but this is uh, this was my Dagon I had custom made, and Park does a really cool job on the way he does the the cases. Uh, they're they're basically in a, like a an enamel or a lacquer, uh, so they're encased and they're they're just really cool. It's a different take on pedals, man. But his work is really good. So what I know about this pedal is that it's kind of a new take on like a tube screamer variant. Uh, so it's I'm expecting it to be kind of in that hot rotted uh, kind of realm. That's what Park is known for, at least on the Dagon. Uh, that thing has more gain on tap than I've ever seen for a Klon style pedal. So I'm kind of having high hopes here for this Perilous Overdrive. So I'm going to get this thing hooked up. All right, you guys, let's talk about the rig. So we're going to be using my PRS 245 SE. We have the um, bare knuckle pickups, the Holy Diver set installed. We're going to take that and go into the Mesa. So we're going to be using my Mesa single rectifier. It's a Rectoverb 50. And we're going to go into the ISO cab, which is loaded up with a Jensen Raptor 100 and the Jensen Nighthawk 75. Um, That's pretty much it. We're going to be using the Perilous Overdrive as a boost, and let's get into it, shall we?
right, man, there you have it. That is the uh, Perilous Overdrive. I'm going to tell you what, it looks like a moth. Uh, so I'm going to call it the Mothman pedal because that's what it looks like. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So um, I don't know when the next batch is. I did speak with Park and um, he did say he's planning on doing another batch of them. I don't know when. So make sure you reach out to PCP pedals or PCP custom pedals um, on his Instagram or Facebook. I'm going to text him some more and annoy him for you guys. Uh, yeah, it's a really good pedal. I'm really impressed with it overall. Uh, it's definitely a hot rotted kind of TS-808 kind of feel to it. The tone knob is very active. It's got a lot of top end. Um, I didn't have to dial it in quite like I do a normal TS-808. Uh, typically I run the gain or at least the volume. Uh, I run the volume almost at 90%. Typically I will run it, uh, right about like so uh maybe that's coming in yeah kind of give or take uh like that but yeah this thing is great it sounded really good with the uh, the mesa and uh yeah anyways tell me in the comments below what you guys thought overall and uh kudos to truck driver sean for letting me borrow another great pedal and uh kudos to park over at parks custom pedals so i'll see you guys on the next one thanks